Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Um, not to this about my portfolio. So today we're going to talk about any investments I made this month, any uh, other things I did, interest that I got, of course, because it's January, so banks usually give uh, the annual interest payments in that month and dividends I received. As you can see here, and eventually we're also going to make a profit or loss. The information provided by Nativitas, aka me, is for informational purposes only and does not constitute financial advice. The disclaimer outlines the limitations of our financial stock advice and the risks associated with trading and investing. Before making any financial decisions, we strongly recommend consulting with a qualified financial advisor or conducting further research. Furthermore, there's no guarantee of accuracy. The information provided by Nativity is based on sources believed to be reliable, but we do not guarantee its accuracy, completeness or suitability for any purposes. We strive to provide accurate and up-to-date information, but market conditions and financial news can change rapidly. Not financial advice. The content on our platform includes articles, anal analyses and stock recommendations is not intended to be financial advice. It is for informational purposes only. Users should not rely solely on this information when making financial decisions. Always seek the advice of qualified financial professionals before making any investment. Risk of loss. Investing in stocks and financial markets involves inherent risks. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Nativitas is not responsible for any financial losses or damages incurred as a result of using our information. Users should be aware of the risk associated with trading and carefully consider their investment objectives and risk tolerance. Individual Responsibility Users are solely responsible for the investment decisions. Nativitas does not provide personalized investment advice and each individual's financial situation is unique. Users should consider their own financial position, risk tolerance and investment goals before acting on information provided by Nativitas. No endorsement or recommendation. Any mention of specific stocks, securities or investment strategies on our platform does not constitute an endorsement or recommendation. Nativitas is not affiliated with any companies mentioned and does not receive compensation for promoting specific stocks or securities. Market conditions. Financial markets are subject to various factors, including economic conditions, geopolitical events and market sentiment. These factors can impact stock prices and market trends. Users should be aware of the dynamic nature of financial markets and the potential for rapid and unpredictable changes. By using Nativitas services, users acknowledge and agree to the terms outlined in this disclaimer. Nativitas is not liable for any direct or indirect damages arising from the use of our information. Users should exercise caution and conduct their own research before making any financial decisions. Now, for interest and dividend, uh, on the 1st of January I received 17 euros and 15 cents on my savings account. Yes, that is the savings account with about 15,000 euros in it, so I was a bit pissed off. You can uh, calculate the interest percentage on that you, uh, yourself. One thing to keep in mind with that, though, is that I don't keep 15k on that the entire year, so... It had about a 1.7% interest annually. Then the 15th of January, uh, I got my 120 euros for my bonds, my government bonds, that is. And on the 18th of January, I got my dividend payment from Alibaba, which was 12 euros 68. That's net, by the way, that's net. So that's uh, after tax. In total, I received 150 euro, which is about 165 dollars. Now the investments. Here's the date, tickers, names, the amount I bought, the buy price of a per share that I bought, current value per share, except for the Bitcoins. I just calculated the total amount. So that's just the Bitcoin price times the amount I bought. I think that's a bit more uh, obvious to see or a bit more clear than putting 30k here and then 31k here. And it still is a bit fake because you have to multiply by 0.02. So I think it's a bit more obvious this way. And total value is, of course, left out because that's the total values over here, or at least total current value. And here's the USDs for the same things for the Americans. I bought on the 12th a little bit of Bitcoin, about 1,000 bucks. Uh, that is apart from my plan. I plan on buying about 50 or 100 euros of Bitcoin. But I thought, let's just buy a little bit and just keep it on my cold wallet. And just keep it there and I'll, uh, I'll never touch it and maybe it will become a lot and maybe it will uh, go to zero. That's the gamble you take with Bitcoin. But uh, 
It's just something I, uh, I like to try out. It's a bit of a gamble I'm taking. The same with Alibaba, for example. Alibaba as well. I just buy that stock and hope that it goes up. And if it goes down, it goes to zero. Well, whatever. You know, it's it's speculation. That's what it is. So it's not an investment. Same goes for Bitcoin or Chainlink or whatever crypto I buy. I don't see it as an investment. I see it's purely a speculation. Then I bought Aisha Score S&P 500. One, which is an ETF. It's an S&P 500 ETF. Oh, total value is, by the way, the amount I purchased it for, I now see. Okay, so that total value is the amount I invested. Current value is what it's worth right now. Then I bought an, a tech ETF, which has, uh, I think it's about 60 of the largest tech companies in the US. So think of Microsoft, think of uh, Apple, think of uh, all those major, major tech companies. That's also why I don't buy Microsoft or Apple, simply because... Those already make up about, what is it, I think it's like 20 or 30%, probably even more. I'd have to put the number somewhere on the screen, but uh, a large portion of this ETF is already in Apple and a Microsoft. So then it doesn't make any sense for me to buy Microsoft or Apple stock. It still makes sense for me to buy Alphabet stock, as you see here, because that's only like, what, 3% of this? I don't even think it's in this ETF. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not even in this ETF, so... That's the reason I buy Alphabet Class A. And even if it's in there, it's like, what, 2% or something? Very, very minor percentage, at least. Then I bought a little bit of extra Bitcoin. This is my recurring payment of Bitcoin, so it's about 100 euros. Then I bought Dutch government bonds at 4%. The amount's 800, but that's because it's a bond. You buy bonds in, in, in hundreds. So technically, it's just one, or technically, this is just eight bonds. It's just eight bonds. You can also see that buy price times 8, you get about the total value. Then I bought some Google Alphabet Class A after the stock dropped for 132 euros. Current value is about 131, so whatever. <laughs> A 1 euro loss, or well, 15 euro loss on that investment as of yet. But of course you're invested in that for long term, for a couple of years. So, And I think Google will do very, very well in the upcoming years, so I'm... Uh, I'll just keep those shares and uh, I'll see what uh, where the company is heading to. Then my savings, I decided to put my savings on a brokerage from Germany, which is Trade Republic. They offer me a 4% interest on my savings with no withdrawal fees, with no locked periods, so I don't have to keep uh, my money in there for a year or whatever. And interest is paid monthly. Now the caveat to that, of course, is that uh, they can change the interest percentage whenever they want. But I thought, for the time being, I won't use those 10k. I'm, I'm not going to lump sum my money into a stock or into a uh, an ETF. So I thought, well, I'll just keep it on there. And every month, if I ever need to draw some money from there, I can like, withdraw 1,000 bucks and put that in an ETF or whatever. Well, in the meantime, it's adding 4% interest. Which is, of course, a, a great amount on a savings account. So that's, that's the reason why I decided to put it on there. Also, I received a free share from them for because I opened an account. So I got about 10 euros worth of Tesla share, which was a, a fractional share, of course. But that's also something, I guess. Uh, now, that, that share, of course, immediately plummeted, as you guys could have seen with the share price last month. But uh, it, is, it is what it is. And I'll, I'll, uh, I now own about uh, 8 euros of Tesla. But eventually, if we need to make the P&L statement, we have a profit of about 270 euros this month, which is awesome. And this is 270 euros I didn't have to do jack shit for. So that's very nice. The, this was the 150 from interest and dividends and investments was 121. And what I mean by that is if you just add all the current values of my, the investments I made compared to the buy price and then just, well, minus it, if you understand what I mean, then the eventual current value of these is uh, 121 euros higher than what I bought it for. So this is my current portfolio, about four in the S&P 500, four shares, uh, nine shares in the US tech, and these two, as I already told you guys last, uh, last month, I still have, and I, I don't know if I have to sell them or if I have to keep them. I didn't update these numbers, by the way, so these numbers aren't correct as I see them now. The profit percentage are a bit higher now, but it doesn't really matter. It's just, it's just what is it, like 200 bucks and 150 bucks, whatever. Then the stocks have about 9 uh, or 23 shares of Alphabet and about 14 shares of Alibaba. Really nice. Alibaba is, of course, uh, 
went a bit down, but I'll just keep holding it and I'll see where the where it goes. The bonds current amount is 38 bonds with an average bypass of about 100 and uh, well, it's technically 111.9, but it's it's rounded up. Current value is about 115 total value and the profit percentages. Also receive my uh, interest from that, so of course you can uh, also add that to the private per profit percentage if you want to. But uh, I didn't. Crypto I own about 0 .03 percent, 0 0.03 Bitcoin. So that's okay. Profit is about 10%. That's what I really do like about crypto. Sure, you're speculating. You're technically gambling your money, let's face it. But what is really fun about crypto is at least you're making big gains uh, or big losses, of course. But it's, it's a lot more volatile than stocks. And, and I really like that aspect of crypto in the sense that uh, you really have short-term changes where stocks get a bit boring after a while in the sense that they... they they are very stable, and that's good in the, in an investment sense. But it's it's very boring in an amusement sense. So that's also why I view my Bitcoin as just gambling. I mean, I do it because I also find it fun to do. I like buying Bitcoin and then waiting until it goes up and then maybe selling it. That's also what I did with my little chain link holding here. I sold it for a, for a good profit. So that was really nice, um, and, and and that's what I do like about crypto in the in the sense that you, you do have a lot more volatile assets there. Now, does that uh, make it a good investment? Heck no. I mean, I wouldn't ever invest in crypto. Like, I wouldn't invest what I used to do. I just buy uh, when I see that the stock price, or stock price, sorry, when the, the share, what do you actually call it? The price? Just the, pri just the price of Bitcoin, for example. If it goes down, uh, I just buy it. And uh, then I just wait until it goes back up. And if it doesn't go back up, I just keep it. And if it goes back up, then I sell it. Uh, and I only buy when it goes down sharply. And I only sell when it goes up sharply. So that's that's kind of my strategy with crypto. And so far, in the last two and a half years I've been trading crypto, it has resulted in, in very good gains. It, I, I must say, I've never lost money with crypto. Not even during the bear markets. I pretty much always made money and i don't know the exact percentage but i can tell you in the last two and a half years i think i made an easy 100 percent on my crypto it's an easy doubling of my money so that that's how i see crypto i just see it as a thing you can swing trade a thing you can gamble on it is speculation keep that in mind everyone who, who read the intelligent investor which is a really good book by the way please read it knows that this is just sheer speculation and uh, I guess Benjamin Graham wouldn't be proud of me but <laughs> I like doing it and uh, so far it has been uh, it has been profitable so I'll just keep on doing it with the money that I uh, the money that I can lose but if we go to the current situation here we have the month of December this was our situation just a month ago and this is the situation as of right now so our portfolio grew with about 1800 euros or about 1900 US dollars or with 6.2 percent month over month which is very very good now keep in mind that's not only percentual gains it's not only gains on the markets that's also uh, part of my salary I invested. It's also part of my other income sources that I invested in this portfolio. So it's not that I'm a wonderful trader that can uh, generate 6.2% month over month gains. Um, it's also that I invested part of my income. So keep that in mind. But um, even adjusted for income, uh, I'm still up this month. That's, that's tremendous. I'm really happy with that. And uh, yeah, I, I, uh, that's, that's all I can say. This was a very, very good month. Now, that was the video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys' attention and you guys' time and, 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 and uh, watching these videos. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if uh, you'd like to. <laughs> if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the, in the next one. And uh, yeah, see you guys then.